very humble, probably the most humblest of Stardew Valley legends. <laughs> nice first haul, yeah, it's pretty decent. The melon's getting there. Very brave, I keep my bed next to the door. Oh, I can't be bothered with that. These aren't ready yet. Come on, wiggly worms! How many walnuts do we, did we get from that trip? We're on 14 now. 54. Considering we've only really hunted full walnuts like three days, and we got 54 of them already. Let's make Stardew great again. No wiggly worms. No, you... <laughs> <laughs> you guys can do the wiggly quagsire. How many is the bridge to the dig site? That is a good question. I was actually going to focus on the... Um, I was thinking about getting the resort next. No wiggly worms here, chat. Alright, we're a few days away from the star fruit being done, which means we must nearly be there for the... Um, the stuff at home, the the, the wine, right? Hmm. Dig site has more walnuts. You are correct. Let's go have a look. Because we might be able to get the profit from the dig site uh, and use that to open up the the thingy job, thing thingy me job, the thingy bob um, for the the resort. Is it only 10? Yeah, we'll use it. It's worth it, I think. And we need to uh, we need to get some more hardwood as well. Yeah, I hear you, snail. I hear you. Worm spotted? Yeah, but they're not on the beach. Thank you. I thought I was done for. I've been stuck in this cave for months. Yeah, they have to be on the farm, really. They're the ones that we really care about. One more cave mushroom salad and I would have gone off the deep end. Oh, so rubbery. Anyway, I'm Professor Snail. I've been conducting a survey of this island's flora and fauna for the last year. Truly a remarkable place. Well, I think I'll go back to my tent and freshen up a little. I'm afraid I smell like mushrooms. Hey, listen. You should stop by the tent sometime. An enterprising individual like yourself could be a major asset in my projects. Hehe, <laughs> farewell. Hey look, more wiggly worms. Have I got... My pockets are full. Oh my goodness. Ah, uh, Burger Smalls, thank you very much for the three-month resub. Much appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Beep, beep. Dazza Boogie, Dazza Love. Dazza Boogie? Where? Uh, my pockets are full. I should probably empty them. <laughs> Let me quickly go back to the farm. Squawkers, let's go! Um, we got the coconuts, the mussels we can sell. The geodes, I need to start processing these geodes. I hope that I get the last things I need. Uh, the Okay, all of this stuff can go here for now. Uh, do I need the mag- what do I need the magma caps for? You know, they're so plentiful, we can just come back for more of them. It's fine. Put all this junk away. Except for the dwarf. Do I just sell it? Uh -huh. Alright. Let's go back to... The dig site. <laughs> perfect, Driven. Absolutely perfect. Let's just, uh... 
use our old friend Kablooey over here. Fossilized leg. Another fossilized leg. That's both the legs straight away. Fantastic. Can't be bothered to farm it naturally, or manually, even. Trees, maybe. Circle at the top of the stairs. Oh! Completely missed that, thank you. Alright, that is the hardwood quest complete now, which is awesome. Splendid. Now let's talk to Mr. Snail over here. Trying to enchant the hope. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking about using... Isn't it 50 f per enchantment? I was thinking about... Because you get two, don't you? One just gives a higher chance of an artifact spot giving an artifact. And one just gives a high chance of there being double when you dig one up. Ah, come in! Welcome to my field office. I'm Jardinero. As you can see, it's quite empty. Getting stuck in that cave was a huge setback to my project. But that's where you come in. Heh <laughs> I'm in the bone business, you see. Ancient bones in particular. And this island is full of them. Hey, nice CC. Fingers crossed. So if you ever encounter any bones, fossils, or mummified specimens on this island, bring them to my desk, okay? I'll make it worth your while. Right. Let's see if I can remember the answer to this one. 23. 22? 21. 21. 21. Oh, shoot. <laughs> we got four fossilized legs. All right. Beautiful. These bones are f exactly what I'm looking for. Now let me clean my magnifying lens. More than 17, less than 25. Alright, let's go get a prismatic shard, or two. I don't mind spending a couple. And yeah, we I don't think we have anything else to use the prismatic shards for, do we? Other than gifts. Ooh. Ooh. We donated one. We we got the galaxy sword. I don't think we need it for anything else. Missing bundle? Eh, maybe, but that's that's not like a pressing issue for me. <laughs> Is it 50 cinder shards you need? Oh, I didn't even bring my cinder shards with me, did I? Dum dum! Or is it 20? 20, okay. Let's go back and get the cinder shards. You see, I didn't get a single mummified bat from when we were at the mines yesterday, and usually I get loads of them. I've got a feeling that you don't start getting the bits of the fossilized creatures for that until until you've unlocked Professor Snail. It's just like a just a, a feeling, you know, like a tickle. Better get the other ones in prismatic. Right, you know what? I'm taking a second prismatic shard. Yeah, you, you heard. Because if I don't get a good enchantment on that hoe, I'm going to do it again. Thank you, Pinky. I forgot. You get them before opening the dig site, switch could be different. Ah. I mean, it's just like a, a personal anecdote, you know? It's not science for me, anyway. <laughs> I never do anything scientific-like. Right. What are we hoping for, chat?
generous. That's the one that gives double, isn't it? Fifty percent chance of doubling item after digging. We take that one. Yep, that is a hundred percent the best of of the enchantments. We well, since we're here. Let's, let's enchant our sword. Why not? See what we get. Vampiric. Eh. Mm, okay. A little bit extra health. Won't go amiss. I accept it. Alright, how many, how many walnuts are we up to? We got eight. Let's quickly go see if we can get... Um, the mummified instantly. <laughs> okay, then we go back to the dig site. No, archaeologist is a higher chance of finding an artifact um, when digging up an artifact spot, which I'll be honest, with the amount of artifacts that I need to get, wouldn't go amiss. Um, generous is a 50% chance of getting double art, uh, double whatever you dig up. They sound similar. Ah. Golden walnut. I'm gonna leave those gingers there, because we might... We might get a quest that requires digging them up. And let's go to the jungle, apparently. I like generous for all the drops. Yeah. Yeah, seems nice, that's for sure. Alright, let's head home. Because I've got a feeling we might have some wine ready for us. Some hubab wine. And it's Friday. Let's, for poops and giggles, go see what the, um... The traveling cart has for us. Maybe she's got a battery. Ginger goes away, that's why I pick it up. I see it. Hmm, maybe I should have done then. Oh well. I even find it the same on consecutive days. Oh, shoot! I didn't realize it reset daily. Damn, okay. Because that was a big pile of ginger there. Should have probably taken advantage of it. Whoops. Um, um, um. We might also have some strawberries ready. I'm not sure when the first harvest of straws will be. But we need them for Maru and Demetrius. Unmilled rice. A tulip again. Summer seeds. Okay. So I, we don't need any of those. That's fine. Kind of a wasted trip, but I'm okay with it. Especially since there's more things that we need to do. What else do we need to do, chat? We need to catch that bream. So we need to we need to sell a banana, artichoke, ostrich egg, beet, red cabbage, pale ale, uh, aged row, ancient fruit, tarotuba, pineapple. We got some pineapples to grow, uh, mangoes, then radioactive ore. So really, what we need to do is we need to speed run the walnuts so that we can hopefully unlock the danger in the deep quests. That's kind of important, isn't it? Otherwise we'll never get radioactive ore. I didn't think about that. <gasps> Ancient fruit! Perfect timing. Let's sell one. Because we need two for shipping. Sell those. What do you need a bream for? I think there's a- well, someone- someone mentioned there's a cooking recipe that requires it, I think. But then, when I looked on the cooking, it didn't say that we need a bream, did it? Yeah, we need a bream for the baked fish recipe. Which is evenings, any season. Looks pretty fresh to me. Ah! That's my impression of Jimmy Carr's laugh. Ha oh ha! So with Deluxe Speed Grow, that only took until the 19th to grow. Once a key, you need to get Gus 
to resort. Oh, for recipes, but true. The um tropical curry. Our wine's not ready yet. It's very surprising. Um, right, these ancient fruit. We seedify them. Oh. And we hopefully get lots of more ancient seeds. Do I plant them immediately? I think we do. We get rid of some strawberry plants. Yeah, I should get 15 as soon as the melon's ready. But the melon takes like half a season, doesn't it? You're right, though. Nine so far, so we got a bonus of three. Anytime now. Anytime now. Thank you. Four. Okay, so we got four extras. We got 14 or 13 seeds from, from, from nine plants. That's not my greenhouse. Got some more row. Oh, and they're ready for taro as well. The taro wasn't ready to harvest, was it? How many did you need? Three? Yeah, three taro roots. Come on, aged row. I need you to finish quicker. Um, Do I... We get ancient fruit as quick as we can. That's what we do. I don't have any extra speed grow at the moment. Uh, I'll wait until it's Thursday and then I can pop a few extra. But yeah, I think it's best for us to just get rid of 13 strawberry plants. Wait until strawberry harvest before replacing some. Really? Even not just 13 of them? I guess, I guess we could just wait until maybe we've got like 106 seeds. But then it would be nice to get some extra going. Uh, uh, almost ready. They are almost ready. Right, we need more iron. That's what we need. Uh, we don't need monster musk. Sub! Thank you very much for the gifted sub over to Tokyo-chan. Truffle by the Scarecrow? Yeah, honestly, I don't really care about truffles at this point. I got more truffles than I can process. Thank you, sub. Much appreciated. Tokyo-chan, please do enjoy your gifted subscription. Yeah, I've got more than I can process at the moment. They're not actually bringing in that much money. Not compared to, like, the amount of money we're about to get from the starfruit wine, but this is where things are really going to start ramping up now. I just went to the same floor, didn't I? No, I didn't. It's a different one. There's no iron. Bong. Ideally, I'd like to have that third keg shed full up of kegs before the first strawberry harv- uh, starfruit harvest. That's what I'd like to happen. Oh! How many Cinder Shards is it to uh, combine rings? Because we have the ability to do that now. Is it 50? <laughs> 20! Only 20 to combine rings? Damn. Alright, what kind of a ring are we... Well, first of all, we can combine... I can get the Iridium Band and combine that with the Burglar Ring. Slime Charmer would be nice. The Lucky Ring would be nice. The Napalm Ring would be nice. So I'll just pick my, my favorites that I have available to me. I think at the moment I don't have all of them. I think I've only got the Burglar, the Iridium Band. I don't think I'm anywhere near the Slime Charmer Ring. Hey, dragon, no worries. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. If we see you tomorrow, I'll see you tomorrow. If I see you another time, I'll see you then. Have a good weekend. I'll be around tomorrow. You know me. Oh. But I am getting hungry. It, it's going to be pizza time soon. I 
here. Dust sprites. Uh, what are we doing with iron? 20. Yeah, we, we need to focus on this more. A lot more. Oh, is that the first time Vampiric is activated? That sucks. <laughs> That's a terrible chance. Do we have to kill the ghosts again? Don't think so. Hey, there's a secret note we need. Yeah, the, yeah, 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 that's the one, that's the one, that's the one. Uh, I'm gonna run out and do that now. It's worth it. Get away from me. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely worth doing. We got the rabbit's foot waiting, might as well. Actually, I haven't checked the, the coop for a while. So I've probably got a bunch more rabbit's feet waiting. I kind of want to get more rabbits. I feel like it's too late now. Oh, we got a decent stockpile of them at the moment, actually. We're, we're good. Never too late for more buns. True. I mean, the worst they can do is give me more wool. Yeah, I think I do. I think I'm going to fill it up. I need rabbit names, chat. I need rabbit names. I'm going to stop giving, like... Wait, what was it going for again? Uh, town. I'm going to stop giving the, um, the assignment out for what we need the rabbit names for. I'm just going to... I've given up. Alright, we got the lucky charm. What else is there to do today? Nothing. We'll just go clean up the farm. We actually got one called Marlin Bundo. Bunny Barns. <laughs> Although I say this, but I think I'm actually going to call it quits here today. Chat. I'm um, getting hungry. It's almost pizza Saturday. Well, it's almost time to eat pizza on Saturday. Lovely. Getting that jade going. Uh, so that goes in there. Let me throw these away. Janice Hoplin. Bun Goth. Rabbit Denier. Is it? I think those are the two ones that we picked out, actually. I can't remember. Hold on, let me go have a look. I know we got quite a few rabbits, and those ones ring bells. Buns a lot. Rabbit De Niro. Marlon Bundo. LeBun James. <laughs> And Prince Harry. <laughs> oh dear. And an Iridium quality rabbit's foot. That is going to be a fabulous gift for someone that's trailing behind. I don't want to eat the egg. Thank you. Anthony Hopkins. That's a good one. I don't think that will fit though. That's a bit long, sadly. Why am I still trying to collect goat's cheese? I might get rid of the goats. For Maru, she's still in last place. Yeah. Ma, Ma, did I say Maru? Yeah, Maru and Leo, I think are gonna be, oh, I'm gonna have to fall asleep. I can make it, I can make it, I can make it. Yep, okay. I'm just gonna sell those truffles, I don't care. Over here, oh, I was trying to get to my chest in time. I should've drunk some coffee. Hello, Lav, how you doing? Hope you had a good Sunday. Saturday, not Sunday. Let's not lose a day. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, decent chunk of money. Hey, no worries, uh, Deo. Have a, have a wonderful dog walk. Um, hey, thank you for the follow, appreciate it. Hello, Rachel Kitten, how you doing? So we actually um, did a little bit of poking around at the end of last stream, and there's no reason really for us to go to Ginger Island today unless we really have to. Your favorite thing was Galactic Brown. Oh, that might have been Quack Farm. Yeah, I actually can't remember. It's been a while. It's been a long while. Flower Dance is the 24th. It is Shane's birthday today. And we are going to become best of friends. Yep. Rain tomorrow? Eh, okay. 
for sure. Oh, but it's also, ooh. It's also a really good luck day. Have a count me. Help! Hello, Blossom Kelly, how you doing? All right, we got that mail last time, that is fine. Pork. All right, Shane, we'll, we'll give him a beer, then that will finish him off. That'll be all that we need. See, we've got a really good luck day today, though, and it kind of makes me want to go to Skull Caverns. Because we the other thing we got to work on is the monster eradication goals. Accept your fate, E.T. <laughs> yeah, we have to work on monster eradication goals, like Pepperexes and whatnot. There's a lot to do. But I do think the biggest priority is still going to be uh, Golden Walnuts. Uh, honestly, I've lost count, Zadra. <laughs> I have completely lost count. I'm going to start keeping eggs for... Uh, Uh, for the kitchen. Same as milk, for the time being. Too many truffles! I can't process them all. I need to set up another oil maker. We've got some, uh, some green beans to pick up here as well. Yeah, honestly, I can't remember how many farms I've been through on... I should have counted them when I was on the loading screen, to be honest. Um... Possibly six, maybe. Possibly. So we... I don't know, the... Do I count the first one? I'll count the first one. The first one that I started playing on Twitch was the one that we did on YouTube. And then after that, I believe it was Quack Farm. Was our second one. Then I think... After Quack Farm, we did the... One year completion, or a community center challenge, I think. Then after that, I tried doing the beach farm, which failed miserably because I just I was just burnt out of it. Um, God, there's there's too many to try and remember. I'll be honest. <laughs> should I just sell the basic sprinkler? Or should I make an extra farm? Um, basic sprinklers are, are pretty much pointless after you unlock the quality sprinklers. Basic ones are just too much of a pain in the butt, and they're, they're kind of a waste of resources as well. Uh, I'll keep the mayo as well. I think that's... Oh, fridge is full. I think they're used for a couple of recipes. Yeah, yeah, well, the first two years are vanilla honey. The first two years are. It's very old, though, and I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> very old, and I don't know what I'm doing. God, that sounds like me. Do you have a basic sprinklers that are good for flowers or beehives? True. I suppose, yeah. Um. Right, octopus, crimson fish, scorpion carp, dorado, stingray. We're, we're all good on fish, I think. Let's go crack open some geodes. Yeah. Why oh, have I still got a tuner in here? A chanterelle. Oh, and we've got some artifact rows we can break open as well. Well, we, we have one. Um, oh god, I, like, I get so lost on a first day back. Geo time? I think so. So we're missing, we're only missing three minerals. Which, I mean, I guess I could... Nah, we're fine, we'll just open them. Artifacts, we are very lost on though. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, that's assuming that I've donated all the minerals that I can as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm really hoping I could just get a bunch of these from Artifact Pot, uh, Troves. <sighs> okay, um... What am I thinking? That is a good question. We're working on the aged row. Yeah, honestly, shipping stuff is, is pretty much sorted. Fish is sorted. Sorry, chat. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Thinking of really what to do today. Uh, we do need to get some more shrimp for the fishing bundle, uh, for the for the cooking as well, so I might quickly move the crab pots. 
at what point do you switch from cracking Omnigeos to artifact droves? Uh, when I've got all of the minerals donated. And then I'll start using uh, our tr uh, troves. Can I not? Oh, there we go. So there's a way to just pick out some. Right, okay. Somewhat of a plan. <laughs> I did get Secret Note 20. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I went and I got the, um, I got the, the what's it called? The, the Lucky Charm. The Lucky Charm. Okay, I don't think I can go visit Shane for a gift anytime soon. We know he's going to be at pub. So we can always go to the pub later. Don't give me that. I don't want that. Here comes Harvey. Actually, where's Harvey going? Interesting. All right, Clint. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll break open all of the... Well, actually, because I don't know how many of these... I don't know how many of these I need to actually sell rather than... Oh, no, so, sorry. I don't know how many of these I need to donate that I, I've already cracked open. Because I might have sold some early game to make quick money. Good morning, Vandermeer. Oh, he's off to the library. Oh, okay. Uh, that's the Stingray, Zadra. The Stingray. You can only get that from the Pirate Cove. Throw away the play. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, CC. It sounds like dads abound. <laughs> oh dear. Forget cauliflower. See, that was all part of the plan. To make a, a more entertaining and, and engaging stream. That way, if we win on our first attempt, then it's going to be impressive. Right, chat? Yeah, Sushi Leisha, you told me that last time, but that must be a PC thing, because it never says that. It just, when I hovered over it, it just says the the price. It doesn't say whether Gunther can, uh, can have it or not. But maybe it was you that said it last time, maybe it was someone else, but I, I checked, because I, I tried selling it back to Clint, and all it told me was the price. If it's the price, that means you have it. Oh! Well, I'll be darned. Oh, I thought I already donated a tiger's eye. Not going to lie. Well, thank you. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. So okay. See, that's the that's the kind of thing I, I like need to see it happen. Ta -da! I'm also on Switch. Well, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, that's the kind of thing that I need to see it. Like, to actually accomplish it. Oh, my goodness. A golden pumpkin from the... Okay. Magic. Oh, a frozen tear. Or just get just complete trash from this. Do you guys know about the Geode Crusher glitch? I think it's interesting. So if you have a Geode Crusher from completing one of Clint's um, uh, special order requests, the last thing that you break open from Clint, you can kind of duplicate if you put the same geode in a geode crusher. Yeah, I guess it's another gift for Kent, yeah. We did get a golden pumpkin from a rock. Whitney, don't question it. Welcome to Stardew Valley. <laughs> Alright, this is a bunch of trash. Lemon stone. I guess we could give Clint something since we're here. Do we need to befriend him? I think we do. Dwarf helmet? Okay. We actually do need to find a couple more dwarf gadgets, which I don't think we've had yet. More iridium ore? Okay. Oh, Jennifer Lawrence. Well then, how about that? Oh, I like this. My, my new favorite thing. I can tell what to what to sell now. Okay, so we just got a bunch of nothing from those Omnigeodes. Nope, asking shall receive. 
pop sound of selling stuff. <laughs> the sound of making money, Neo. The sound of making money. Not that I know what that's like, IRL. But at least I know in-game. Um, you just need one for the farm PC. I think you only need one for crafting. But you also need one for donating. I've donated one. I just haven't had another one until now. I think so, anyway. Have I donated one? Oh, that yellow thing might be new. Potentially. Yeah, the farm PC is super cool. I love it. If, I, if this is a duplicate... Uh, I can finally make the farm PC, then I absolutely will. Okay, I don't think we got too many new things. Uh, let's take a quick look at the... the minerals. Oh! Oh! Alright then. But the thing is, have we donated all of them? That's the question. Because I may have skipped some. So how many are there? Let's do a quick count session. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 53. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Rocket man! <laughs> I was counting! Sound of making money, eh? Thank you very much for the twenty dollars. <laughs> Appreciate it. Oh my goodness. Thank you, man. Much appreciated. Oh dear. <laughs> Hope you're feeling better today. Alright, I just want to put some minerals down here so we know there's like a set amount of things. When is, uh, when, when's, when's, uh, Mrs. Rocket coming back home? You still, uh, on your Todd with, uh, with, with Rocket Pup at the moment? Two, four, that's, that's an artifact, not a mineral. A few hours, oh nice, that's good. Two, four, no, that's an artifact, not a mineral. Ah! Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, two, four, six, eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three. 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53. So I think I've donated all the minerals. Actually, you want to eat? I cook some eggs and toast. Nice. I'm glad you're feeling better. Yeah, feeling feeling sick sucks. <laughs> so to answer your question, ET, when do we switch from artifact troves, or when do we switch from uh, Omni Geos to artifact troves? Now, because we have found and donated all of the minerals, so we just need artifacts. Which I will I I will give myself claps for that actually. All right, off we pop. Um, uh, no, I was gonna give him the, uh, the golden pumpkin. Thank you, guys. Alright, sell the extra stuffs that we don't need. Oh, that, that makes me feel better. Because not completing the artifacts and minerals is, uh, another, like, rookie mistake that we can make that I don't really want to do. <laughs> Yes. So, Neo, you want to know uh, something I found out? Uh, marble, you can actually put in the Crystallarium. So once I found one, I put it in the Crystallarium, and I made a couple more before I popped it out and donated it. Um, yeah, yeah, it's something that I found out when I was looking at the Crystallariums on the wiki, and I saw the marble on there. I was like, oh, I don't have to find any extra. I can just dupe it in the Crystallarium. I was like, I will do that. <laughs> All right, farm computer, where are we? Where are we? Battery pack. Oh, I used all my batteries. 
That's annoying. So we'll sell that, we'll sell that. Good morning, Wandering Goose. How you doing? Hope you're well. Alright, let's get our espresso going. Let's get some crab cake on the go as well. So we can go meow. So yeah, things are looking good so far. We've um We've got all of the morel mushrooms that we need. Befriending Leo is going okay. Have we gifted him two times this week so far? We have. I really do think I need to start working on gifting Maru. Um which we're close. We're close to getting strawberries for her, don't worry. Maybe I should be doing some gifting today since it's kind of like a an odd day. Doing great, I'm glad to hear. Glad to hear. Nope, put that down. There we go. So we need some shrimps. We need some shrimps for our uh, for our cooking. So hopefully we get that soon. Right, let's uh, let's focus on gifting a few people. Since we're in and around town, it's going to be a reset week for the or a reset gifting week tomorrow. There was someone that I was going to save that iridium foot for. Pierre, I was going to save the iridium foot for Pierre's birthday. We don't have to gift Emily because we'll gift her on her birthday, and that will get her maxed out. Yeah, the Golden Pumpkin, I think, can go to Kent. It's good that we're getting some more universal-loved gifts. Right. Let's take a look. Let's start at the bottom this time, work our way up. Which is going to be Maru. <laughs> Maru, Alex, Pierre, and Gus. So we do need to gift Pierre again. Iridium Foot, yep. Maru, Alex, Pierre, and Gus. I'll, I'll just do it. We got gold. Maru. Alex. Uh, Pierre and Gus. Oh my goodness, there's so many people. Evelyn. I've got nothing for Demetrius yet. Uh, Evelyn, Kent, Jazz, and Sam. Evelyn, Kent. I've not really got anything for Jazz. So I'll give her a foot. Sam gets the cactus fruit. Shane, we're just... Oh, Shane's birthday today, so we'll give him a beer, and that should max him out, or getting close to. Emily was saving Vincent... Eh. Sebastian and Lewis. Sebastian... And Lewis. Okay, right, we've got gifts. Let's go. Gifting a foot? This turned into a murderer's farm? No, no, it's a rabbit's foot. It's different, I swear. <laughs> let's start with Pierre. Well, actually, let's start with... Oh, did I... Have I gifted George? Yes, I've gifted him twice. Okay. Yeah, let's just start with Evelyn. I was going to say she's easy to find, but she's not here. Alex is, though. What? Okay, no egg for you. That's what you get. Uh, right, Pierre, I believe I was just going to give a foot. Yeah, you know, that's just how it goes, sub. No foot for you. Where else could Evelyn be? Rude, I know, right? Well, hello, Kent. Uh, don't go anywhere. There you go. Sam, you get this. Oh, Sebastian's here as well. Oh, Sebastian's here as well. Community sense. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, now that we've finished it, a bunch of people might go there. Uh, I want to see if I can hit Marnie. As oh, I keep saying hitting people. 
gift, Marnie. Oh no, the, this wasn't for Marnie, this was for Gus. Have I already gifted Marnie twice? I have, okay. Yeah, I was thinking the diamond. Also, if, I think if we get to the museum, or not the museum, the doctor's office before... Um, before three o'clock, we might be able to see Maru there. Nope, no one's here. Okay, good. It's getting out of control. I know, it's just, that's just the kind of, it's just the kind of stardew where I am. Anyone sitting on the bench outside? Maru! Hey look, a gift! I finally gifted Maru! I, uh... That works, that was deliberate, okay? She's sitting in here all on her Todd. Tuesday, Thursday. Okay. So who did I miss? Uh, I didn't get Alex, I didn't get... Oh, Lewis, I've got an Autumn's Bounty for Lewis. Oh! I meant to do this. Dazzy, you're here! Okay, I guess I'd better introduce my pieces. Wish me luck. Uh, okay, everyone. There's no music in this cutscene. Thanks for coming to my art show. Some of you know, I came to this town because I wanted to draw inspiration from the beautiful surroundings. Yeah, right, E.T.? It's nice of her, isn't it? Still not gonna marry her, though. This place really feels like home now. Okay, I'm gonna introduce my sculptures now. Haven't named this one yet. She started out as an exercise in human anatomy, but I ended up seeing her th uh, through to completion. Her expression is intentionally unclear. Is she embarrassed? Amused? Pained? I'll leave that uh, for you to decide. Chat, what should we call her? She doesn't have a name. She's definitely a Jane. This one's called Post-Dimensional Null Space. It represents the boundary of human imagination. The shape and colour came to me vividly when I was in a trance state. Oh my goodness, she's been eating mushrooms. <laughs> she's been hitting up Emily. <laughs> I've been calling this one Eggheads. I wanted to create an animatronic humanoid statue to toy with the viewer's ability to properly att attribute a personhood to a physical entity. The last one is called Wood Sculpture 3. I always... This, this sucks. Hello, Kazan. This sucks because it's called How I Feel About Dazza. Not Wood Sculpture 3. Those are my sculptures. But one last thing. I'd like to say thanks to my special friend Dazza. Special friend! He gave me the idea for the show and the courage to go through with it. I know it sounds cheesy, but it's true. I'm proud of you, Leah. Vans like this really breathe life into our little town. I love you right, Leah. Post-dimensional null space is my favourite. Thanks for doing this. Thanks, everyone. Now make some money. Now let's start the bidding on these wonderful art pieces. A marvellous addition to your home. Do I hear 5,000 gold for the pink one? I'll take it. I kind of do wish we could buy these. That'd be kind of cool. Although a little bit creepy if we, we bought all of the, the stuff off of Leah. Be like, yes, I'll take it all. Okay, we need to find Jazz. Uh, Alex we can't gift because he's busy. And, I mean, Gus, Gus is pretty easy. Oh, never mind. Omelette time. Well, folks, once again, we're gathered for a very special occasion. Someone get married? A rare visit from a dear friend. My world-famous giant omelette. Zesty bell pepper, juicy tomato, rich mushroom, and tangy cheese. All enrobed in a blanket of rich, fluffy dig-in. Uh, <laughs> a rich, fluffy dig-in. Rich, fluffy eggs. We'll take the lot. Exactly. Willie, what do you think? <clears throat> the mushrooms are a tad chewier than last year. Oh. Is that a good thing? Leave that shrooms. Yeah, shrooms on, a, on, a, on an omelette. Hmm. Oh, you lad. It's great, Gus. It tastes even better because it's on the house. 
These eggs are so rich and yellow, Marty. Are these from your place? Oh, no, they're not. Nope, you can thank Dazza over at Newm Farm. Hmm, Newm eggs. <laughs> I wish we did get, like, bonus friendship with all these people. That would be cool. Because they all got love hearts. Go on, Gus. Have a diamond. And if you don't mind, I'll, uh, I'll take a beer to go, please. Cheers. Here comes Emily. We, we're waiting for our birthday. There goes Harvey. Oh, cool. Make you go faster. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, no Lewis. Uh, one second chat. Oh, I know what that is. Cool. Uh, right. Shane was in the supermarket. Yo, what's up, Velvet Man? How you doing? Happy birthday! Are we now maxed out with Shane? We're close. So we just got Alex, Jazz, and Lewis. Um, Jazz might be up here. Playing with Vincent and, and Penny. Yes! we go. He outside. Alex? Or Lewis? Coffee buff. Check the color of his dock before you, uh, when you give a gift. I like seeing purple there. Aha! Yeah, red. Okay. So we just gotta find Lewis. Uh, who... I have no idea where Lewis could be. I just assume he'd be at his house. Oh. There we go. Oh, I guess we're nearly there for the wizard as well. We can quickly go take a detour to the wizard. We haven't gifted Jody today, which we can do that. If I can find her. Okay. So wizard and Jody. That's all we need. Uh, Jody will probably be at home. We've got the crispy bass for her. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to her house in time, though. That's the problem. To the bus stop! Honestly, I, I would love some, uh... Some eggs right about now. I don't know what, how, I'd, how I'd cook them, though. And Weezard. I haven't had poached eggs for a long time. The Weezard! Exactly, Alpha. Yes, the Weezard. So, so this was an okay gifting day. It was reasonably successful. Did I gift Jody? She's not even here. Where would Jody be? She doesn't go to pub, does she? Eggs are expensive, yeah. Well... They're not really expensive here at the moment. They're just really hard to come across because of the whole avian flu thing. Sam, where's your mother gone? Oh, there she is. Starfruit season coming up. Are you going to plant them in the summer on main farm? Or do you have some uh, have a plan for money? I've got 600 planted on the uh, on Ginger Island, Zena. Really, all I need is, I think, seven harvests? And then process them all into wine and I'm good to go. Um, but I'm probably going to also plant them in the summer as well. But I've got other other crops to plant too. Kind of like how I did in in spring. I'll plant like maybe two sprinklers worth of every crop. And then the rest of star fruit. Oh, Neo. Honestly, it feels like it's just a permanent thing at this point. Yeah, people that own chickens have to, like, keep them indoors or something. Like, keep the, like not allow them outside. Farmers are having to kill off, like, entire flocks of chicken. Flocks? Is it a flock of chicken? I don't know. Uh, loads of chickens, basically. It sucks. And because of that, eggs are just ridiculously hard to come by. Square talking to Caroline. Or Jody. Yeah, I, I didn't see her. I just waited until she got home. 
Thank you for the follows. Much appreciated. Put that away. Okay. Uh, pretty decent day. More truffles, of course. Oh my goodness. I got so many truffles, they're coming out my ears. All right, let's do a little bit of farm cleanup. We've got a... Oh, the row! Okay, and, and I'm going to sell this uh, this couple of truffles. I just can't process them in time. I think we need hardwood for the oil machine. The oil maker. Where is it? Oh, it's right there. Dum-dum. Hardwood, slime, and gold bar. Yeah, I'll ignore that for now. Um, yeah, let's do a little bit of farm cleanup real quick. Let's get our axe. Do I need... I needed hardwood for something, didn't I? Oh, the house upgrade. Yeah, we need 150. Okay, let's go chop the wood, the hard wood. And then oh, I just walked when I could teleport. <laughs> uh, and then when we get back, that's when we can um, we can do a little bit of farm clearing here. Just because I'd like to move my sheds out of the way, um, give the barn animals a bit more room for grass. And maybe fence off the barn animals as well. I can't believe I'm still not level 10 fishing. But what gives? Have I gifted Krobus twice? Must have done. Yep. Did I... Chat, did I go into autopilot mode? I did gift the wizard. Okay. I <laughs> I was like, did I go into autopilot mode and gift the wizard, or did I ignore him? But I did gift him. We're all good. Alright, that is now enough hardwood to get our house upgraded. Which is so sweet. Let's go clear a little bit of our farm. Go through this way. Oh, Geode. Cheapest is a six pack of free eggs. Uh, it's like 21 Swedish Krona, so like 164. Yeah, eggs are about that cheap here as well. But obviously, you know, the the better quality the eggs, the, the higher price, obviously. The better condition for the chickens, the higher price. Eggs over here are just reasonably cheap. Why Key's challenge is so difficult? I mean, they've got to be sushi. They've got to be. They give good rewards. That's why they're, they're difficult. Really, I kind of want to save my, um... The hay here for a scythe. Oh, heck, that one, sushi. Nah, that one I refuse to do. That one is a massive pain in the butt. Uh, I, if, if that one's ever presented to me, I take the other option. Every time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we've got avian flu here as well, Miller. Um, but it's, like I said, it's more hurting the supply of them than it is the price. Um, like, the price of our eggs haven't shot up because of it. It's just very difficult to get them. Like you, you basically have to get to the supermarket early in the morning, otherwise you're just not getting eggs. Yeah, Neo, yeah. Uh, same same here. Um, you pay a little bit more for the, the premium eggs, but not like a, an arm and a leg. Alright, let's head to bed. Conditions we raise the animals in are really poor. Mm, it's a shame. Poor chickies. Um, right, we'll put this away. Yeah, big egg farms like that are truly... Or big egg farms are just... They're sad to see. They really are. Chicken bounds, I've got no room for them, Whitney. Plus, I wouldn't be able to... Like I said, we've got avian flu at the moment. I'd have to, like, keep them indoors or something. <laughs> Hello, Raman, how we doing? 
see a lot of people blaming it on the feed. Right. 